If you have PTSD or have experienced any type of trauma, really, you may find yourself experiencing difficulty in some areas of your relationships. Trauma healing comes with many challenges, and in this video, we're going to talk about some of the things that we can do as trauma survivors to strengthen our relationships. Hey friends, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kat, and this is Real Chat with Kat, where I get to talk about all things ADHD, PTSD, mental health, and a whole lot more. In this video, I'm going to chat with you about things that we can do as trauma survivors that can help to minimize the impact our trauma has on our relationships. So let's chat about it. The first thing I would suggest is that you learn to recognize your trauma and your triggers. This will be an ongoing process um, that will evolve over time, so don't be rigid in your expectations of yourself or your trauma healing. As you heal from your trauma, you will experience or you may experience many different things, and in a future video, I'm going to talk more in depth about what those challenges might look like. But for now, these are a few of the challenges you might face in your relationships if you are healing from PTSD. You may experience intense mood swings, frustration, anxiety, decreased sex drive, trouble with intimacy, difficulty trusting. You may experience feeling withdrawn or isolated. You may have a negative self-image. You may start to isolate and avoid people or places. You may have trouble feeling attached and you might begin to withdraw from even those that you love. These are just a few of the symptoms that you may experience while you are healing from trauma. Recognizing your trauma and the things that start to trigger that trauma is really the first step in strengthening your relationships all around. Once you recognize your trauma and have begun to untangle your triggers, you will begin to develop coping skills to help you manage. These coping skills will look different from person to person based on a variety of things. They may look different based on the nature of the trauma that was experienced. They may look different based on cultural or family or spiritual or religious values. It's going to be things that things and people who help you manage and minimize the impact of your trauma and your triggers. So this could look like therapy, it could look like talk therapy, cognitive behavioral, behavioral therapy, this could look like coaching, this could look like meditating, it could look like yoga, it could look like learning different breathing techniques to ground yourself. All of these things are considered coping skills that you will develop in order to help you manage. This will also include your support system, which can be your loved ones, your therapist, your counselor, anybody who you can call if you feel triggered. The more coping skills you develop that work for you, the easier it will be to help manage your relationships. Once you have recognized your trauma and your triggers and developed a good set of coping skills, I suggest you work on building yourself up. When you know your value, you know what you bring to a relationship, and it makes it much easier to trust in other people when you trust in yourself. Knowing that you are worth love and respect and that you deserve those things can go a long way towards shoring up your relationship along with engaging in regular self-care. Once you have done all that, then you can focus on nurturing your relationships. This is important for anybody, whether you're healing for, from trauma or PTSD or anything at all. Everyone should be working on nurturing their relationships. And again, how that looks is going to vary from person to person. And I will do a future video, probably next month, about how to specifically work on nurturing your relationships. But it it's basically comes down to spending intentional time and creating intentional space for your loved one, your friend, your partner, and for that specific relationship in your life. 
That's all I have for you today, friends. I wanted to take the time during the Valentine season to talk about love a little bit. As I mentioned through the video, I am going to be doing a series of future videos about love and PTSD from both sides of the relationship. So I hope that you will click follow and make sure you don't miss any of those uploads. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and gave it a thumbs up, that would help me out a great deal. If you have comments or questions or things you'd like me to talk about in the future, please drop me some comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope that you are having a lovely day and a lovely Valentine season, and I will see you next Thursday.